one, you're back on the list. I'm Donna Rucco. The Sun Devils are back in class, carrying with them a proud tradition of being mocked on some of television's funniest shows. Brian McElhatton has that and other stories filling your Twitter feed around the valley. At number one, class is finally in session at ASU. It's the nation's largest university by enrollment, and because they're so big, they get an awful lot of attention. And the state press has found some awesome examples, like The Simpsons. <gasps> Isn't that Homer Simpson? <laughs> Looks like heaven's easier to get into than Arizona State. And how about 30 Rock? A parent is the one person who is supposed to make their kid think they can do anything. Says they're beautiful even when they're ugly. Thinks they're smart even when they go to Arizona State. At number two, do you like to run? Then you'll love the graffiti run, October 18th in Goodyear. Run the 5K and get covered in day glow paint. And that got us thinking, just how many running events are there in the Valley? We found 85, 85 over the course of a year. Everything from Pat's Run and the Tough Mudder to more obscure events like the Superb Owl Shuffle and the Year of the Sheep 5K. Now, if you really need an excuse to push yourself to the brink of exhaustion, I guess you have a bunch of them. At number three, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the Phoenix Mercury. This was the scene in the locker room last night after earning their way to the WNBA championships. The Mercury's qualified for the championship six times in their 14 year history. They've won two championships and four titles and have two players in the WNBA Hall of Fame. All of that since the team first hit the court in 1997. Now check out game one of the championship series on Sunday right here on ABC 15. And now you're caught up and clued in around the valley. I'm Brian McElhatt.